welcome to Live Long in Color. I want to thank everyone for stopping by and joining me today. Today's video is my monthly supply haul video for the month of March 2022, where I show you everything that I have purchased from the end of February to today, which is March 26th. Before I get started, I would like to say thank you to everyone who has subscribed to my channel liked and commented on my videos. You are all so greatly appreciated. Thank you so, so much. Um, I think today we will start with the oil pastels that I bought this month. I bought a set of Paul Rubens. Um, I've seen a couple of YouTubers use these and I wanted to try them. They came out on a lightning deal, so I went ahead and bought them. They're a little bit more pricey than the ones that I usually buy. This set said they were a glitter set. Um, to me, they, um, this is a little booklet that you get. They don't look that glittery, glittery to me. Um, they're more pearlescent to me than they are glitter. Um, some of the colors I like, I like the blues, I like the yellows and the pinks. These greens I do not like. Um, I did a swatch chart. This is, this side is what they look like before I wipe them off and this is the side that what it looks like after I wipe them off and this is what I do like a hundred percent of the time is I always wipe them off I never leave them in their natural state um, they were a little at least in the small space here some of them were a little um, like this purple here didn't go down very well but the ones that I used on the pictures that I did I'll show you this one first because I wanted you to see the greens. This is the actual green that it came with. This mint green and this olive green. And I wasn't, they're not my two favorite colors of green. This one's not too bad. Um, so I didn't want to, this was lettuce, so I thought I'll do that in the mint. But I didn't want to do this stalk in that color, so... I put down this mint green first and then I layered a couple of layers of yellow till I got that color right there as you can see. This darker section here is pencil. I used the Arteza pencil. Now if you want to see what it looks like on a picture without using any pencils, this is what I did here. Um, I have not, I will go over this with pencil, but I have not at this point. And that is the green I came up with doing the same thing. I just put a layer of green. I don't remember which green I used in this one, but I kept layering the yellow over it until I got a different color of green than the other two. I'm going to look into a better way of doing that because when you wipe them off like I do, it has a tendency to keep the base color and it takes a few layers to get it to even change a little bit. So I'm going to try to do something different, I think, for that. Um, all in all, they're okay. I didn't mind using them. Uh, and like I said, I don't really see any glitter in there, but you maybe a, a little, but they're more pearlescent to me they have they do have a bit of a shimmer if you look at it there you go you can see a shimmer and I guess you can see a little glitter in there but you really have to put them in the light because if you're just looking at it uh, straight they're not uh, shiny at all then I have these tan mitt uh, gel pens, a set of 33. I also got these in a lightning deal. Uh, this is what they look like. They don't have a color name or anything on them. I did this mandala 
with them. So this is what they look like using them on a mandala. Some of the colors were a bit scratchy. I think you can see that there and there. They work better in small spaces. I don't really like these dark colors much, but overall they're okay. Um, the other one that I bought also on a lightning deal are these rayon. It says 48, but there's actually just 24 uh, gel pens and the uh, refills that they came with. Let me see if I can show you it up close with a little. There we go. That's the name right there. I call I say it's rayon. Rayon, maybe. Um, I use those on this mandala. They worked out pretty well. I was pretty happy with them. Plus, I like the fact that they came with a refill so that when these run out, um, I'll have a, another set. Then I have these Heath Roan dual tip brush pens. There's 12 of them. And I probably won't get it to focus. There we go. It has a brush tip and a fine tip. Yeah, for some reason this camera is just not focusing anymore. And here is the fine tip. You can't see very well. Um, I bought them to use in my Hatchet Heroes books. The Cali Art one that I had, the black that I had, I used it up. So um, I got another set of just these black. They're water-based. We'll see how they work in the Hatchet Heroes books. And then the last actual uh, coloring supply that I got or markers and such. I got these. These are the Zayar Art Paint Pen Water Base Acrylic. 12 colors. These are the colors. I didn't see this before, but they do come with extra tips. Um, I like that they're an extra fine tip, which is why I bought them. And of course, it's not going to focus. Let me move this. And maybe it's the busy background that's not allowing it to focus, but it's not going to. Sorry about that. But these are, you can see the actual ink level in the pen. I don't think... They have the color name on them anywhere? Just on the cap. So that is the Zayar Art Paint Pen Water Base Acrylic Pens. Okay, then my washi tape addiction that I have struck again. I bought these off of Etsy. I really wish I would have bought some more sets back when I bought the first two because they are out of almost every color except for this one and a couple of others. And I think they might even be out of this one now. Um, what I discovered was if you take one, of, I take one of these larger ones that I have here and I divvy it up into four equal, and I say equal-ish sections, and I'll use them on the borders for my mandalas, and they've been working out pretty well. And then these are the ones that I bought from Dollar Tree. I got another set of these little green ones. And just various different patterns. This one is like a tropical Hawaiian. Some of these I've had before. I went ahead and bought another one. 
because I, I try to buy them these little raccoon and fox is cute while they have them because they don't always have them at my Dollar Tree so these are all the washi tape that I bought I really wish I could get my hands on some more pen and gear but Walmart is out and I don't think they're bringing them back and I just remembered that I have one more uh, coloring supply that is these this is the Black Widow sets I uh, the 24 Cobra and the 24 Scorpion um, I was originally gonna buy the Monarch but I decided to just go back to the three original sets and get a, the complete set of 72 that's what I ended up doing one thing you have to be aware of when you buy from Amazon let me move this over here is that they come in envelopes without any padding so a lot of times they'll get beat up so the case gets pretty beat up as you can see this is what they look like up close each pen comes with a number and a name and the color is at the end this is something new the original sets did not have that um, this is the colors all the colors that are on there from the lid and this is the Cobra set this is what they look like up close and these are the colors that are listed in the lid And I did a swatch chart of all three sets that I bought. This is the Black... Let me put it down so you can actually see. This is the Black Widow set. This is the Cobra set. And the one on the bottom is the Scorpion set. Now, when I put them in the pencil case, I will probably not keep them in this order. I will probably put them in order by number, regardless of what set they are. So I will be mixing the sets. And I always try to put them in order by number I know a lot of people put them in, in color groups and such like that but I do a lot of color by number so I try to put them in order by number so that if I'm looking up a specific number that I want for a certain color by number book it's just easier for me to find so that's what I do there now that is the last of the coloring supplies next is the coloring books I have this one this was a purchase I did on Etsy um, this is a PDF book that I bought a hundred easy spring by Demita Victoria this is the first book I bought by from Demita Victoria I saw it on Nikki and Niagara's uh, supply haul that she did recently which I will link down below and I fell in love with it I love easy coloring books I did this picture I did not print out the whole book I don't do that because um, I use up a lot of ink for pages that I may not color for a while so I just print out pages as I'm going to color them but I did print out a few that I want to work on I printed out this cute little landscape I love sitting on swings like this my husband actually built me one in the backyard um, and I love I love swinging on it and then I did this one I, I'm planning on doing this one with the oil pastels and working on a technique to try to blend a different green to use on these leaves we'll see how that works out and then this beautiful little bird here so if you want to see I don't think she did a complete flip through of this book but if you want to see more pages from it you can check out Nikki and Niagara's uh, video then I have 100 easy coloring uh, by Joshua Dunbar he was an artist that was on Jade Summer and he now is working independently my only regret is I cannot buy these digitally anymore 
I loved buying them off of Jade Summer digitally because I have a tendency that if I like a picture, I'll cover, color it more than once. But I love his art style. I love how he does these simple pictures that you can color as uh, detailed or as simply as you want. And there's pretty a lot of varieties, like he does these mermaids, flowers, birds, household items, different things. So, now this is one of my favorite pictures in here. This is one of the ones I wish I had on digital because if I had this on a PDF, I could see myself coloring this two or three different ways. I would probably color it in marker. I'd probably color it in pastels, you know, different colors. Yeah. Um, but like I said, he, oh, so cute. He is one of my favorite uh, artists and I'm looking forward. Look at that. Um, I did want to mention here, show you, just flip. He does landscapes. Just flip. And I'll go to the back here. These are all uh, one copy. There is no duplicates in here, which I also like. He has upcoming uh, preview for his upcoming books. He has and Animal Mandalas, Country Spring, and Easy Country. I'm not a big fan of Animal Mandalas, but I will say that this one is an unusual one. Then we have the country, uh, what does it say? Country Spring, and then here is Easy Country, which this one I would definitely probably get. So that is Easy Coloring by Joshua Dunbar. I can't leave that there because it'll glare. Then I have Secret Village Easter by Ava Brown. I think these pictures are so cute. Now she does have duplicates. These are this is where the duplicates start. Plus she also gives you uh, I say she it's a company gives you um, the PDF version also when you buy their books. I just like coloring mushroom houses and the little mice and such. So and anyone that knows me knows that I collect. Uh, most of these Secret Village uh, books. So this is Secret Village Easter by Ava Brown. And then we have my Kirby Rosannis that I bought. I bought uh, Geomorphia. I bought this one because it was single-sided and my thought was I could use marker but in looking at these I probably won't. I probably stick with pencil because they're just so detailed. Kirby Rosannis is one of the uh, artists that I will buy his books just to look at the pictures. I just love his artwork. And I have been coloring quite a bit in World Within Worlds and I've really enjoyed it. So even though I'm just a straight colorist and I don't do a lot of detail and fancy backgrounds or anything like that, with his shading that he has here, you could just straight color this and it will still come out looking beautiful. And the other Kirby Rosannis I got was Mythomorphia. I also enjoyed this one. It has such beautiful pictures. Move Happy out of the way there so you can see more of the book. I'm sure there are many flip throughs online of these already, so I'm not going to go through the whole book. But I will show you my favorite page in this book, if I can find it. It is this, this double spray page spread with the deer. I just love it. So that is Mythomorphia by Kirby Rosanis. Now, my final book is my monthly book depository from my Hatchet Heroes. I straight away from the Disney and went into the Star Wars. 
Uh, this is the Star Wars one that they have. It says there's a hundred pages here. I am going to go into the, the um, solutions. So if you don't want to see them, thank you so much for stopping by. I, I really appreciate it. Um, so I want to say one thing I don't like about this particular book is a lot of the pictures are really dark. And I'm not sure I like that. Like this Mace Windu right here. I don't understand why they didn't go with a lighter background so that you could see his face. I love Samuel L. Jackson. I would love to see his face more clearly. Um, I do like the piercing eyes, but if I did it, I would probably do a slightly lighter background for him. Um, but yeah, I like some of these more than I like others. And in looking at the dark colors and how much it would use up of the browns and the blacks and the grays. I don't know if I have that many colors in my markers that I would probably use pencil. We'll see how it goes. I do like Luke. See these ones that are lighter, I personally like more. And you get into those more towards the end here. So that is my plan. It said 100, but according to this there's 98 pictures so this is star wars from hatchet heroes and the last book that i have to show you so i thank you so much for sticking with me if you stuck by me through this whole video thank you so much i hope you have a safe and happy uh upcoming week and until i see you again live long in color and i'll see you next time bye bye